going into Syria as a distraction for the Israelis to attack uh, the Iranians and get this whole shit popping, man. All right? But you Americans, you ain't ready for war. All right? That's why you protesting and stuff, but they ain't helping. Keep you. Beat your, beat your plowshares into swords and your burning hooks into spears. That's right, all them nations over in the east, like Iran and India, they went from agricultural uh, states to militarized states, all right? And it's gonna be man, like I said, when when it when when it when they start have to send troops down there to fight against them Iranians and them nations over there, it's gonna be a slaughterhouse. You should look up the top ten massive standing armies, and half of them are gonna be the mass majority of them are gonna be all the uh, the foes against America. These people ain't ready for no damn war. And half of these soldiers, when they come home, they up there bugged out over some darn post stress. Uh, 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 Central. When they haven't really even seen nothing, man. Cause you people here in America, soft body, man. You gonna be so shown to be soft body when all hell break loose when you gotta go over there and fight, man. You really? Let the weak say, I am, I am strong. That's right. That's why you got serious saying. They basically saying, okay, they want to come do it. Let's do it. All right. Because they know they backed up by, by uh, Russia. Then Iran is strong. The Arab nations are strong. Okay, they haven't forgot about Libya. Okay. North Korea is strong. Okay. These nations that was once weak and was uh, getting bullied by the United States or the, the European nations are now strong and they rising up. Fulfilling this prophecy, let the weak say they are strong. Keep reading. Uh, yeah. Verse 11, assemble, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, yep. and gather yourselves together round about. Tither calls thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Yeah, that's what we, we told that Edomite. We told him that during, when all this is happening, when the soldiers are fighting, they gonna, that's when the Lord going to come back and he's going to destroy them. And he's talking about, that's not what the Lord is talking about. That's what the scripture is talking about. That's the, that scripture right there proves that. And that leads off to a whole nother topic. All right, but we focusing on, on the gathering of these nations over the fight, keep reading. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yep. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And all this is for the judgment of the nations. That's, what, that's why these heathens ain't gonna understand. All right. And we, we brought this out whenever the whole uh, Egypt crisis broke out, okay? That the reason why these na all these nations having all this turmoil and uproar amongst their people coming up against the government, and then the government, they all uh, confused and don't know what, what to do, is because the Lord is starting to bring judgment upon them. And every the whole solution is going to lead to this war. And that's all set up for them to gather all their armies so that when the Lord come back, it's just going to be one and done with their armies, man. He's going to destroy their armies in front of everybody, and it's going to be broadcast worldwide, man. Okay? Keep reading. But there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Yep. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest, the harvest is great. Yep. Come, put you down, for the press is full. Fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. For their wickedness is great. This is by far the most wickedest time the, the earth has ever uh, experienced, man. You got sodomy glorified mainly here in the United States and all over the world. Hell, they just start glorifying that shit even more down in South America, all right? And won't be surprised you get more protests amongst them tribes down there, man, okay? All right, and Russia already made a statement. They not for Sod sodomites. All right, they wage war against sodomites. So the Lord is with Russia, and the Lord's going to use Russia to destroy America and destroy them Israelis. 
That's Ezekiel 38. We're going to get there. Let's finish that up. Uh, verse 14. Multitudes, the multitudes in the valley of decision. For, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. That's right. The day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The valley of decision is over there in the Middle East. All right, where all these nations are gathering for this upcoming conflict and battle, and that's going to escalate into a major war. All right, and go to uh, Isaiah 13 and 4. And the Lord is behind all this, man. Okay? Yeah, the man just tell us that what we're teaching is evil, but the Lord is he's, he's behind all this, this, this conflict with these protestants in these nations. All right, with these militaries and these uh, government leaders gearing up for war, the Lord is behind that. All right, keep reading. Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse uh, four. Yep. The noise of a the noise of the multitudes in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of kings of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts must move. The host of the battle. That's right. Go to Joel 2 and 20. That's right. It says the noise in the mountains, the major governments, the tumultuous, uh, the tumultuous of the peoples. That's some protesters and the gathering of the kingdoms right, for the battle. The Lord hosts of the, uh, hosts of the battle. So the Lord is putting the, the war spirit out there, man. That's part of end time prophecy, man. Chapter 2, verse 20. Yep. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. That's right. The Lord's going to remove far off from what? America, the northern army. Talking about the North America uh, military. Remove it far from this place. Move it where? Far off into the Middle East to fight against these other nations. Man. Keep reading. And we'll drive him into a land barren and desolate. Yeah, because they're going to start fighting amongst. Iran, that area, Syria, that's all in the same area. But they're going to get pushed down into Saudi Arabia, which is where that massive barren desert land is, and that's where they're going to die, these, mili these uh, U.S. military troops. All right? Keep reading. With his face towards the East Sea. The East Sea? Which is the Red Sea. And his inner parts towards the uttermost sea. I believe that's the Persian Gulf. All right. Keep reading. And his uh, stinks shall come up. And his ill savior shall come up. Because he... Because he... Because... And his stinks shall come up. And his ill savior shall come up. Uh -huh. Because he have done great things. Because he have done great things. I right, going into Esau and his abominations, man. Speaking and doing great things against the Heavenly Father and His Word. Go to Revelation 16, verse 12 through 14. <laughs> Revelation chapter 16, verse 12. Yep. And the sixth, and the sixth angel poured out his vow upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, and the way of the king, kings of the east might be prepared. Yeah. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophets. Yep. For there are the spirits of devils working miracles. Yeah, the beast. It's talking about NATO, all right? Dragon, that's, that's synonymous with uh, the ancient Roman Empire, which that's America divide. And then you got the false prophet, which is the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church, and they all pushing for this war, man. All right? And them spirits and devils that look like frogs coming out their mouth, it's all them, that, that false propaganda, man. All right? Mainly the three, the so-called three main religions of the earth. Christianity, Islam, and, and Judaism. All 
right? Which all three of them are pushing for war. 